Hey there internet, it's Phil. Now, I know what you're thinking, something's different but you can't tell what it is. Well, I'm gonna shock you a little bit, but I'm actually not a cartoon today. This is actually me. I know my art style is photorealistic, so it's probably really hard to tell, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one, I'm a real boy today. As a quick note, this is my first time using a big boy camera, so the footage might be awful, hopefully it's not. Uh, the lighting in my house, it turns out, is super awful. It's really bad. But I'm gonna keep trying different things and see maybe if different rooms work better. Hopefully I'll figure it out. But for now, if the footage is kinda grainy or whatever, I'm sorry. Deal with it, I guess? It's been a long time since we did an update video, probably a few months, uh, maybe more. So we're definitely overdue for one. The first thing I want to talk about is that we actually passed two milestones for the channel back in November. Storytime is now two years old and we passed 1,000 subscribers. Those are both absolutely crazy. I did not think when I started that I was going to keep doing this for two years, let alone that even a hundred people would be watching. So the fact that a thousand are is really incredible. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all the support, whether you're just watching the videos or liking or commenting, you know, however you choose to interact, I really do take it to heart. It's so cool. Um, hopefully I can keep making really cool stuff for you guys. Hopefully this year I can outdo last year and we'll just keep it going. It'll just be cool. Through the magic of editing, you didn't see me just choke on water for about a minute, but it happened, so, so there's that. So the next thing I wanna talk about is what's coming up next. I'm currently working on the final episode of Dragon Ball that should come out this weekend, assuming nothing goes wrong. That'll finish up the story and then we can do an analysis video and then we will be done with Dragon Ball. I did not intend to spend like seven or eight months on Dragon Ball. I thought it was gonna be a really short thing before Super came out. Obviously, it ended up being really long, but it's been really successful. People have seemed to really like it, so thank you so much. I appreciate all the views on that. And uh, I'll definitely branch out and do another anime or something later on. Uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion is probably the thing that people ask me to explain the most besides Kingdom Hearts. So if you've ever been confused by that, and I know a lot of you probably have been, uh, we're gonna do that at some point, definitely. So once Dragon Ball is done, we're gonna go back to Kingdom Hearts. It's been a super, super long time since we did any Kingdom Hearts stuff, but we're getting into a really cool part of the story there with Organization 13 and Sora and Castle Oblivion. And then that's gonna lead us into Kingdom Hearts 2, which is just craziness from start to finish. Uh, besides those, we're gonna be doing a couple of other little videos in the meantime. Uh, I'm doing a Pokemon video either this week or next week, uh, something to celebrate the 20th anniversary. I thought I would tell the story of the first day that I played Pokemon Blue back when I was in sixth grade. It's one of my clearest memories. I remember that entire day like it was happening right now. So I thought I would tell the story and just kind of celebrate 20 years of an awesome franchise. The other thing I want to do is a video on the ending of the game Firewatch. I'm not going to do a story time on it because it's super short and you can just go play it and I actually recommend you do because it's really cool. Um, but a lot of people hate the ending. They felt really let down by it, they felt kind of misled and that the game was setting them up for something that it didn't deliver. That's a super interesting topic to me. I think ending stories is really difficult and I'm always really interested to see how people react to endings. And I think I have some good ideas about the choices that the developers made in making the story that led to this feeling that a lot of people, certainly not everyone, but a lot of people have. And I want to see if we can just discuss that and kind of find something in there to like, even if the ending itself wasn't what people wanted. So that's what's coming up. We may do other stuff in the meantime if it comes up, but those are the things that I have planned for the future. The last thing I want to talk about is the format of story time. When I started this channel, it was actually supposed to be more like this, you know, me and a camera, I'll tell a story and, you know, I use drawings once in a while to break things up, to tell a joke or just make a diagram of something, but it was never going to be all drawings. Uh, what ended up happening was that I had a hard time filming and I couldn't really get footage. Uh, I didn't have any of the equipment to record footage and so I needed something to fill the time on the screen. And so the kind of storybook look of story time evolved that way and it ended up being something that was really easy for me to do at the time. I had a ton of free time and I could just sit and draw all day. Over the past year though, my time has gotten really, really strained and it is very difficult for me to get out a story time of any considerable length in less than a few weeks. I actually have even less time now than I did a month or two ago. So we kind of have to change something because I want to put out more episodes. Um, I always want to put quality over quantity. I want the episodes to be good, but I also want to be able to make lots of different kinds of videos. And right now I feel like I can't do that. So what I have in mind right now is to at least try doing story time like this, uh, to have me talk to the camera, to have things be a little more free form, a little less scripted. And then we'll kind of see how that works and go from there. As far as pros and cons, uh, the cons are that 
If you like the drawings, there won't be nearly as many of them. I like drawing a lot, I think it's fun, but it's not something I would consider one of my major skills. It was really more of a convenience thing, and as much as I do enjoy it, I don't enjoy having to do as much of it as I am. I just, I'm a very slow artist and I just don't have the output necessary to make the format work the way it is now. Another con, maybe for some people, may be that we're gonna have a little less detail in story time. I feel like I tend to get caught up in the details a lot and it's because I think everything's important and that's just part of the way that I look at stories. And to some extent, I think that's okay. I think that it's cool to see all the details and all the little things that come together to make a story whole. Um, on the other hand, for a summary, it really does make it hard. If you have to go through the Kingdom Hearts playlist right now, it takes you like an hour to get through. It should be a little easier to access. The whole point of it was to make things easy to understand, to watch it and say, okay, I get Kingdom Hearts now. And I think that even though I was trying to make sure that I got everything in there, I was getting a little bit too much. And that kind of goes for story times in general. So I want to start sticking more to the important details and to kind of cut away a little bit of the fat. On the pro side, uh, this is super easy to do, it's way less time intensive than what I'm doing now. And I mean ideally I could possibly make a video every week or two and that would be really cool. I would love to be able to put out way more videos so I could do lots of story times but also lots of other stuff like the Pokemon video and the Firewatch video. Another thing is that I think my delivery of the story will be a lot better. It's really difficult reading from a script. Uh, it's hard to not be monotone. Some people are really really good at it. I don't think I am. I think I'm okay, but I would really like to have more emotion and more kind of life to stories. And when I started the channel, I actually tried to record a couple of episodes like that, and it just was not working. Uh, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not good at talking. I'm a writer. That's my thing. Like, I can write all day, uh, but when it comes to actually saying things, uh, my mouth just doesn't work with my brain. Uh, and one of the reasons I started YouTube was to get better, was to be able to speak more clearly and eloquently. And I think I have improved a lot, and so I'm kind of ready to take it to the next level. But I think changing to a more freeform style will just be a little more exciting, it'll be a little more fun to listen to. In the end, I just really want to make the best videos I can, and right now I think that the pace that I'm making them is really hard to keep up. It makes it really hard to follow a story if you're only getting five minutes of it every month. And I really just want to do more, I want to do better stuff, and I think this is the way that we're going to be able to do it. I'm sure that the first few times I try it, it's going to be a disaster, but it'll never get better unless I practice at it. So starting with the next episode of Kingdom Hearts, we're going to try it like that. Maybe it'll be horrible and I'll go back to the old way. Maybe it'll be really awesome and everything will be great. Uh, there's really no way to know unless I try. Hopefully you guys will be supportive. Hopefully I'm not going to ruin a show that you liked. Um, there's always kind of a pressure to keep things the same if it's working. But in the end, I think it's going to be a really good thing. I think we'll be able to do a lot more. So hopefully you will come on this journey with me. Uh, feel free to laugh at all my failures along the way. And uh, thank you again for all the support so far. So that's all for the update. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments on anything we've talked about today, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you soon.